Every business should have its own intelligence. Not just a website, but something that can actually speak for you. It should know your work, your prices, your style, and be able to talk to people on your site, in chat, and even answer the phone and handle that first conversation. It should explain what you do, help people figure out what they need, and loop you in when a human is needed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build that for your brand using a tool called YourGPT. And I'll set one up for House from Scratch to illustrate how it's actually working. So your GPT makes it extremely easy to create your own AI agent for your business. It could be in the form of a widget that you put on your website to help uh, customers, even help customers take action on your website. And one thing I really, really like about your GPT is the flexibility they offer. I'm going to show you everything later and also how to set up an agent, but I just want to quickly show you the flexibility and choice of models you have. So when you set up your agent, you have the flexibility to choose between all the GPTs, Llama, Gemini, Grok, Claude, Mistral, Meta, DeepSeek, Kimi. There's so many, so many options. And I, I just really like that flexibility and that they don't decide for you. You, you can set up and personalize the agent uh, in any way you, you like. So, uh, and, and also, if we just go to the features section, they have integrations with so many different platforms like Shopify, you can connect it to WhatsApp, Telegram, and, and so on. There's a full list of, of integrations as well, so you can easily connect to the APIs of, of these services. And, uh, and just to quickly show you what we are going to be building, like this is, of course, an example they have uh, on their website. So let me show you how to create an Agent. After logging into your GPT, uh, you have a, a, a dashboard and you have the uh, option of creating a new chatbot. So let's go ahead and create a new chatbot. Okay, and instantly we'll see that we, we actually get a representation of, uh, of how the widget could look. We can start uh, customizing it, it right away. So let's go ahead and just uh, choose a color and um, a layout we can choose between tabs layout where we can have different tabs or just a, a pure a chat layout. So let's keep the chat layout for now. And we can call the bot, uh, let's go with house GPT. Uh, you also have the option of uploading your own custom logo and all and uh, defining your, your hex colors yourself. So uh, welcome settings, um, you can define like your own personal uh, pop up and, and, and welcome message as well. Let's just quickly skip through some of these. So we can add default questions. So default questions are like shortcuts for the user. So let's do an example that could be offerings, for instance, and then the question could be, what are your offerings? And then it'll basically be like a shortcut for the user. They can just press this button and then it'll automatically ask like, what are your, your offerings? Um, and um, yeah, different ways to, to render it. And home screen elements you can add. Um, if we just go add it, switch to tab layout, uh, you can add different uh, social media links directly and uh, featured articles and, and so on. But uh, I won't go through all of these settings because it's, it's pretty much about like styling and, and, and just like what you initially want to add to the widget. But I think what's way more powerful are all the AI features that are, uh, that are built into to your GPT. So let's just switch to chat layout and then quickly go ahead and uh, create the AI. And, and by the way, like you of course have this one, which is actually pretty important. I think like the branding, you can actually customize everything. So you can add your custom CSS and JavaScript. So you have full flexibility of both how, how it looks and, and, and uh, sounds and, and, and extra functionality you, you would like to, to put into, into your, your widget. So, uh, so let's try to uh, create the AI agent now. And then what you are basically met with is the initial settings. You can choose to skip it and just change it later. But, um, uh, but basically this is the base prompt of, uh, of your agent. So, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change it uh, that much. I'm just gonna, instead of, uh, support assistant for Acme, I'll just put house collective and then I'll keep the, the rest as default for now. So, uh, so let's save and continue. 
And um, something that's really, really cool with EOGBT is that you can actually import external data sources. I will skip this for now because it's also in the actual interface and I want to show it uh, how it looks from, from within the, the interface instead of uh, doing this setup guide. So I'm, I'm going to skip for now. And, um, and then we're in the dashboard for uh, our chatbot. So, uh, so first of all, we can, we can just quickly test it out. Uh, it will just open a new tab and we can see this is exactly uh, what it looks like. So, um, and we see we have the, the offerings tab as well that we created. First of all, you have complete control. It's like a, like a control center. Uh, so at any point you can press live and then you can essentially see the, the users currently connected to your widget. So we can see there's one from Denmark and I guess, I guess that's me. So, um, so, uh, so if we go back to the chat, uh, we can just say like, Hey there. And we have house GPT reply. And, uh, and if we go here and press, we can essentially see this, uh, visitor and we can always just click on, on the, on the, the visitor and, and basically continue the chat. Um, so. So say we, we want, we, we feel like we, we want to, to talk directly to, uh, to this, um, visitor, we can essentially just say something like, um, a human here and send it and, um, and yeah, we will receive it. Uh, so now the human takes over from, from the AI and, um, that's all great, but let's, let's keep, uh, exploring some of the, the other features. So back to the training, uh, you can provide any URL with data from your either project or company or whatever you're creating this, uh, uh, this, uh, chat agent for. So let's try to go ahead and add the link to our YouTube, uh, and it's like this. So let's see if we can actually pick up on some of our content. So, uh, so this is pending now. Okay. So it's basically done now and what we can, what we can do, I'll, I'll test it out in, in a bit, but what we can do is we can actually go to the source and, uh, then we can see all the, the data points it has gathered from, uh, from this, uh, uh, from this training session. Um, so we see some of the, some of our posts. So, uh, so let's go and, um, uh, and test this out. Hi, tell me about your content. Hey, we're house collective tutorial, candid talks and real world AI workflow for creatives. Catch our latest builds on YouTube. So it picks up on, on that. And then we can ask like, um, what's one of your most exciting recent videos. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It even has the, the, like the, the widget to show, uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that to show the, the thumbnail and, and can play it directly within the chat. So got it. Our freshest hit it's, is the exact trick that stops hallucinations in your AI built apps. 23 minutes of agentic coding gold. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. And I guess we can play it directly in here. I literally asked yeah. the AI agent to move one button. That's quite amazing. Actually, I'm, I'm really surprised about this. Actually, of the other options you can, uh, add documents as well. Uh, you can create an, uh, FAQ in here. You can just add plain text snippets, or you can, uh, connect to other, other services as well and, and integrate data from there. Um, so something we use at house is notion. So we have a lot of like our, like our documents, documentation and stuff in notion. So it's pretty powerful. You can directly import from, uh, from, from the platforms you already use. So you don't need to have so many copies of the same data. So, uh, so let's go back and continue and, um, yeah, we can see all the conversation history. And one thing I also want to show is the 
integration. So there are a ton of integration. You can, as I mentioned in the beginning, you can connect it to even WhatsApp and, and like there's so many, so many different things you can connect it to. But if we go to the voice tab, uh, there's also phone integration. So you can actually set this up as, as a, as a phone that people can call to and, and just talk to, uh, <laughs> to like your customer support or your just a agent. Like it doesn't have to be support. It can be anything really you wanted to, to talk about. So, uh, so let's try to manage the phone integration. So, um, so there's like a video showing how it works, but let's try to just uh, set it up and, uh, let's say. Mm, let's say we want a feedback agent. So, um, house collective, um, your feedback. So we would like, uh, we'd like to gather feedback from people watching our YouTube content. So we try to create this agent and, um, I had a bit of help from ChatGPT to, uh, to write a, a, a base prompt. So, uh, so I'll just paste in, uh, whatever ChatGPT helped me write and, uh, let's try to, to save this and try to call the voice agent. So let's call. Hello. How do you like the content from house collective? Hi, um, I'm actually the host, like co-creator of, of the channel. So I, I don't know if I have an opinion about that. Oh, wow. Okay. The creator in the house, no pressure at all. Let's dive into some behind the scenes stuff. First up about the latest video you posted. What part do you secretly think might need a bit of tightening or could have been a bit smoother? Oh, that's a tough one. I think, uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, the the hook could maybe be a bit better, or uh, maybe I say uh, too many times. I'm not sure. Those are great insights. The hook definitely sets the tone, and trimming down filler words like uh can make the delivery smoother and more engaging. Looking ahead, what kind of content do you envision for the channel in the next few uploads? Are you thinking about more how-to demonstrations? discussions about industry trends or something else? Mm, do you have any ideas? Absolutely. Here are a few ideas that could resonate with your audience. One, real workflow demos, showcasing how AI can be integrated into daily creative tasks, providing a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Two, business and client strategies, tips on positioning, pricing, and managing client relationships effectively. Three, future a creative work with AI insightful discussions okay 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 okay, okay. I, I think I, I think i got it now <laughs> uh, i okay thank you so much for your your ideas um do you have any other questions because i really need to run absolutely i won't keep you long thank you for taking the time to chat if you ever have more thoughts or want to share feedback again feel free to jump in anytime okay. have a great day thank you see you see you take care <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Okay, so uh, that was a very efficient voice agent. And yeah, you can again try with uh, with any other uh, model as well, like voice model. And uh, and you can of course configure it with like a, f a phone number as well. I think you need to use like a third party like Twilio uh, to set that up. But it basically means that you can set up a, a phone number that people can call to, and then they will they will get this voice assistant. Um, so that's phone agents. Uh, there are a lot of, of other uh, functions in, in, uh, in your GPT that I won't go through in this video, but just to mention a few, like, um, uh, they just launched a, a studio basically, which is a more visual way of creating different flows for, for your agents. So, um, so I'll just show you the, the interface, like you can essentially create like almost like N8N, like you can create all these, uh, these flows or like, uh, how, how, how a flow is started and then, okay, what happens if this flow is triggered? How do you capture information? Uh, how do you use AI to, to manipulate or like, uh, to, to use that information? What action do you take? Which API calls do you want to make? And so on. So you can, you can do very sophisticated uh, flows based on different scenarios. So with your GPT, a lot of your work can be put on autopilot 
and you can free up time for other more important tasks or you can choose to take a nap if that's what you prefer. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or if you just want to share how you've been using your GBC in your own workflows. If this video inspired you, please like and subscribe and have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.